Mission Merrill's publicity grew dramatically now that they had a face close to home for their mission. But Daryl wasn't always in need of a match. Until his senior year, he was a normal Heritage High School student, and his mom even said he was rarely sick. But back in 2018, the Dugenio's lives took a turn. High school was okay. Uh, first two years, I was there completely. Then around senior year, I was like homeschooled for half the semester because of my sickness, and I went back. But um, my senior year, I missed out on like a whole bunch of stuff. I missed out on homecoming and prom and stuff, so I didn't really get to get the full, you know, senior experience and stuff. So um, when he became sick the first time, it was so unfortunate that the first day of school he was just attended one day and then went to the hospital. It was just a shocking to us and as well as to him because he, as I said he was an outdoor kid. He goes out all the time. Um, this time he had to sit at home, he needed to be protected not to get infection. The first time I got sick was because of my liver failure. Or my liver almost like completely failed. It was like almost to the point where I had to get a liver transplant but like due to my medication and stuff it stabilized but because of my liver failure it like led up to my aplastic anemia. It's this uh, sickness called hepatitis associated aplastic anemia. So first you get like a liver inflation and stuff and then it leads up to my sickness. But even after the diagnosis, one big question remained. How can he be cured? He basically needs a stem cell donor. Like, bottom line, he needs a stem cell donor. Um, what we go off of is HLA typing. It's called human leukocyte antigens. You can kind of think of it as DNA's cousin. And what that is, it's a cluster of genes that's on chromosome six. And so we have to go out into the community and find someone that mirrors those, um, that cluster of genes on chromosome six because we don't go off of blood typing. So you can have the same blood typing as Daryl, but his body would still reject those stem cells. So that HLA typing is kind of the only thing that, that we need to be able to match. The problem is that, that that's really hard, especially inside the Asian community, it's even harder for them. Leslie Cannon is a community engagement specialist at the nonprofit organization called Be The Match. They work to expand and diversify the bone marrow registry for patients who need donors. Daryl's mom found out about them and immediately got in contact to help her family find a cure. She reached out to us and said, look, you know, my son is really sick and we need some, some help, like some support and Daryl needs to find a donor, so is there any way you can help? Um, so uh, I had a conference call with my boss and uh, Daryl's mom and we talked about like the services that we provide and, you know, if there was a way to really partner together um, and there was. So one of the first things that we did was I wanted I wanted to make sure that his community, like Frisco um, specifically, knew about Daryl, knew what was going on with him. So I reached out to a number of contacts and the first one was his school because they told me that he went to Heritage, his brother and sister went to Heritage, so they, have, they live down the street. Um, so I reached out and got in touch with Ms. Lark um, and she invited me to come in and do classroom presentations. And she talks about not just Daryl, but several other teenagers that are in need of a bone marrow transplant uh, or a stem cell transplant for different reasons. Um, and just seeing the faces of someone their age just makes it a personal mission. That is exactly why the four sophomores that make up Mission Merrill want to help. We were like, Daryl, we want to help Daryl, we want to fight for Daryl and uh, get his story out there and support him in that. So when we first started, it really didn't, it was just like, okay, we're competing to like do well. But the moment that we met Daryl, everything changed completely. It was like, it was way, like the moment that I met Daryl's family, I realized it was way beyond just a competition or a project. It was something that like, I want to dedicate my, like my time and everything to like, I made it a goal so that Daryl will find his match. Um, it's really humbling to know that, you know, there's still people who like, once you're a kite, you know, you're always a kite and stuff. So um, it's nice to know that, you know, people that I have never met or people I've never knew existed, like, would go out of their way to help me and stuff. So um, it's like gives me a sense of like family, I guess, knowing that all these people are trying to help out. So it's something like totally different like what we expected. And we are really f fortunate that, you know, the heritage has been very supportive. But I think it's something kind of special with the kids at Heritage. Like I just kind of ran into some really like golden kids. Um, because I, I don't see this 
it's not typical to see this much passion and motivation amongst high school kids or volunteers really in general. So I think the Mission Mural kids are like really exceptional and kind of, they should be underscored because they're the kind of a shiny example of what the possibility could be. That possibility of volunteers bringing diversity to the registry gives families like the DeGenios the chance to have hope. Like we know that we, we will find a match, uh, possible match, but they are from our own heritage, we are from the Filipino community, that um, we are really need people to sign up, we really need people to, um, to know that we will be very thankful for them if they're able to swap, maybe um, they can save Daryl's life.